2009, the people of St. Paul's marked an historic event, the birth of our parish 200 years before. But a church family needs a home, and that home was built 200 years ago this year. Since that time, our beloved church home, designed by renowned American architect Benjamin Latrobe, has seen its fair share of changes, revisions, updates, and challenges. And the overarching theme for these 200 years has been growth. Growth in our efforts to build up the church. Growth in members, growth in resources, and growth in faith. In that time, we have seen 14 rectors and over 208 vestries. We have tripled membership in 20 years, going from 1,100 in 1999 to over 3,000 in this last year. We have nearly tripled our operating budget and grown our pledging income annually at the same level and during the same time span. And in that same time, St. Paul's Foundation has grown from $150,000 to over three and a half million. In 1823, the Virginia Theological Seminary was founded right here inside these walls. Hundreds of seminarians have been trained here and the formation of church leaders continues to be a strong part of our parish identity. We have grown, developed, and expanded our music programs. We have restored our Casavant organ. We have undertaken major renovations and restorations of the church, Wilmer Hall, and Norton Hall. We have founded and continue our strong partnership with the St. Paul's Nursery and Day School, which will mark its 70th year in 2018. We have expanded our educational programs across the board, including starting our own Head Start program, which serves the young ones in our community who are among the most vulnerable of our neighbors. More recently, we have started the St. Paul's Explorers program, which welcomes children from 18 months to three years of age. It is currently operating at capacity and serves over 70 families. In our ever-increasing commitments to outreach both locally and globally, we have expanded our local Lazarus ministry, serving those in need just outside our doors. We have increased our commitment to the global community, marked especially by our participation in the Compass Row Society, connecting us more closely with the Anglican Communion. And we continue our commitment to and ministry partnership with the Church in South Sudan, especially the Diocese of Rank. This mission partnership is also expressed in the vitality of our own St. Paul Sudanese congregation. Among their notable changes this year has been the addition of a Dinka language school, an afternoon Sunday school program designed to teach congregation members in their native tongue and culture. Our Pennies from Heaven program continues to support the Rank Basic School, which now serves over a thousand students. Now in our third century of ministry, it is difficult to count the number of couples who have been married here, the number of children and adults baptized and confirmed, the number of parishioners who at their death we have commended to God's eternal loving care. We have said our goodbyes, and we have said our hellos. We have worshiped, we have celebrated, we have laughed, we have cried, we have learned, and we have served. Through it all, we strive to maintain our five expectations of membership, our rule of life as a faith community here at St. Paul's. One, a daily conversation with God through prayer and the reading of scripture. Two, keeping the Sabbath day. Three, tending to our own ongoing spiritual formation. Four, claiming a ministry of service both inside and outside of the church. Five, giving of ourselves to support the mission of the church through our own time, talent, and treasure. The blessings of God and the fruit of all this good work is all around us. Most recently, we have completed phases one and two of the third century campaign, the renovation of the facade and the elimination of the 
parish debt. Now we turn our attention to the future and to the growth of the St. Paul's Foundation. Phase three of the third century campaign will grow the endowment, enable the foundation to live more fully into its mission to maintain our historic buildings, our grounds and our property, including the St. Paul Cemetery. At this time, we pause and we give thanks. With God's grace and help, look at what we have done. Look at who we have become as the community of St. Paul's. Our sure foundation year reminds us most importantly that to do all that we are called to do and be all that we are called to be, we must continue to stand on the sure and solid foundation which is Jesus Christ, our Lord. In our third century of ministry, our mission is unchanged. Our work is to worship God and to make disciples. We do this work for the sake of the gospel and to build up this foundation for future generations. In our third century of ministry, our call is to continue to build up the church. We can reach out wider to seek the stranger and welcome newcomers into our midst with the gift of hospitality and the embrace of community. In this age of mass communication and social media, we are reaching out to more and more people, but also realize that even in this day and age, the most effective way to grow the church is through a personal invitation. Yes, our most effective evangelists are our own people. It is your life and witness makes a difference. In our third century of ministry, we are called to dream big, called to continue to be challenged, called to continue to be stretched, called to continue to reach out. Our mission to shine as a light in the world to the glory of God is as relevant today as it was in 1809. Celebrating our sure foundation year reminds us that our best years are ahead of us. Now is our moment. Now is our time to shine.